Good morning, YouTube. Hey, everyone out there in survival land. How you doing? Oh, they're crispy. Oh, look at that. Look at them go. Now, these things ignite really quick. See how quick I just barely touched that. Hey, YouTube. Frida for Kaz here. How's it going out there today? Hope you're all having a good day. Look forward to the weekend that's coming. Hey, guys. Before I start today's video, I want to talk about Kaz vs. Wild 3 which is a summer survival camp that I hold each and every year. Some of my new subscribers may not be aware of, of that summer camp that I do. Where we go up and we do some survival training and we do a lot of salmon fishing for the Monster Shaman. And basically everyone is invited, all my subs, all my subscribers and friends. And if you're not aware of what the trip is, I will leave a link in the description box below. Check it out, make sure you click on it and watch the video. Uh, I do a, a, a summer camp each and every year where, like I said, we go out and we train. And uh, I have Kaz vs. Wild Season 1 and Season 2 on my playlist on my YouTube channel, which is called Freedom for Kaz. And I uh, just want to invite you. I want to make sure everyone knows about the, uh, the trip and that's coming up in about seven weeks. So there's still plenty of time to get ready for the trip. But uh, now I want to get on to today's video. Today's video is more of like a warning, more of a, uh, a news flash because the Great Lakes are at the highest temperature that they've ever been in the last century or greater and this causes a great concern for the people of the Midwest and across the nation because of the changes that are coming to the world. The story says, um, and the story is basically on Lake Superior but it's all it's on all of the lakes as well but mainly lake superior because lake superior is the furthest north great lake it says swimming anyone lake superior water temps warmest in a century 74.8 degrees surface water temp on lake superior near duluth this morning the story was a couple days ago 70s water temps along the north shore from duluth all the way to grand marne Hope I said that right. Story says it's pretty safe to say that we're what we're seeing here is the warmest that we've seen in Lake Superior in more than a century, said Jay Austin, a professor at the University of Minnesota at Duluth, who has researched the lake's water's temperature all the way back to the beginning of the 20th century. The all-time daily average high temperature record for Lake Superior is 71 degrees Fahrenheit which was recorded in mid-August 2010. With a few more weeks of warming left, that record is in clear jeopardy. The season hasn't played itself out yet, and we're already within 3 degrees of the all-time daily record surface temperature, Austin said. Another sign of just how crazy warm 2012 has been in Minnesota and throughout the nation Water temps are at their record levels on Lake Superior and throughout the entire Great Lakes system this summer. The South Buoy, 43 miles offshore from Milwaukee, recorded their water temperature of 80 degrees on July 6th this year. That's unheard of so early in July. The average for July 6th is a cool 63 degrees Fahrenheit. Lake Superior heating up in 2012. Temperatures for this time of year are about 20 degrees Fahrenheit warmer than normal in the western part of the lake and we are more than 12 degrees warmer than normal than the 30-year average and Jay Austin from the University of Minnesota Duluth Large Lake Observatory said 
It has been the warmest summer in 142 years of data gathering in the Duluth area, said meteorologist Mike Stewart. The problem with the lakes heating up are many. It promotes plant growth from the bottom. It causes fish die-offs because fish are cold-blooded animals and thus it essentially cooks them from the inside out per se. It damages their brain and their vital organs and they die off, which is much what is happening right now. In this last story that I want to cover, it says record summer heat killing more fish. This summer's unusually high temperatures and, and continuing drought are killing fish across the entire Great Lakes region. There's nothing wrong with the water clarity-wise, says Randy Shoemaker, fishery supervisor of the Wisconsin Department of Natural Resources. The species can't simply tolerate the hot water for this extended period of time. There were multiple reports of fish kills in early July across Michigan, Minnesota, Wisconsin, Indiana, and Illinois, according to the state fisheries supervisors. There have been at least 60, 60 separate incidents in Illinois. About a dozen have been reported in Indiana. There are many, as many as 350 northern pike which were confirmed killed in one Wisconsin report though most of the kills are less than a hundred fish. So understand that pike are, are essentially a cool water fish. So when the water temperature rises, their bodies can't hand the handle the strain and then they die off, along with a lot of other cool water fish. The Great Lakes is an amazing body of water. We have both warm water fish and cold water fish that live in the Great Lakes because of the four seasons that we have. This is very interesting information simply because of what's going on with the food and the drought that the farmers are facing currently right now. So not only are the farmers facing the drought, the fish in the Great Lakes are also stressed because of the drought. Hope to see you all at Casverse Wild this year. Check the link below. Have a good one.